What's up, guys? Machete Panda here, and I am back. I am back to talk about logging and forestry, some of the new updates. Um, I'd like to talk about a progression, possible product progression system. You can grow in any way you want, but um, these are some options going from the cheapest entry level method to probably the most expensive um, or a more expensive le method. So we're going to talk about five of these groupings of machinery. Without further ado, this would be the first one. What we have here is just a simple Landini tractor. Um, if we go into our buy menu, you can find it right here. This is probably one of the cheaper tractors that are in game, um, coming game, uh, the little Rex 4. It's very little power but also very cheap. Um, we also have attached to it a nice little trailer. It's a Salic trailer. And we took off the, uh, the sides so that it's more like a bale trailer. And you'll need a chainsaw. Um, the chainsaw that we have is the Stilth, but they're all the same price. So between the tractor the trailer and the chainsaw it came to forty four thousand, and this is probably the lowest level i mean technically you could just cut the trees and then bring them one by one so you'd really only need the chainsaw <laughs> but we're going to focus on this first method nice little tractor nice little trailer pull up next to a tree you want to cut Oh, and don't worry, we'll talk about this gigantic thing right here. Cut the tree. Watch it fall into your other machinery. But now here's the trick. You have to cut it in pieces that you can pick up. And I'm not exactly sure that it tells you what the right length is to pick things up. Luckily, this is. And then you just put it on your tractor. Cut another piece. And then just put it on your tractor. Rinse and repeat until you have a full tractor. Jump in your tractor, turn on those straps, and then you can go ahead and take these to be sold. Now, you might be looking for an upgrade. You might be saying to yourself, what's the next thing I can do? Um, well, what's better than having to have a uh, tractor that you drive over to the lumber to pull and having to cut it up? Well, something better than having to cut it up is this guy right here. This is that same tractor that we had before, the Rex 4 GT. And it has a winch on it. This is the EGV 65HK. Again, you need the chainsaw for this. And if we go in here, you know where the tractor is already. The winch, however, is under forestry equipment. And it is right here. So this little winch right here. So with this winch, we can actually pull up to a tree. back up to it come over here let's cut it down and then once it's cut down maybe we should take it into more manageable pieces slightly more manageable um, I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna cut it here come up to your winch first you want to lower your winch um, there's a plow on this um, and you want to bury the plow because um, it acts as a wedge I guess it's more like a wedge but you want to drop the winch down into the ground and that'll prevent the tractor from sliding backward I actually don't know if they have that physics in this game but in real life that's what you'd be doing grab your rope Attach it to one of your pieces. R. Oh, I thought it was R. 
probably be, isn't it? Well, I don't want to jump in the tractor. We just want to grab the rope. Thank you. And then we want to attach it. Here we go. And it's B. There we go. You can hit R to attach again to this other log and B. Nice. So now with those both attached, we can go ahead and pull them in. We can use control K to pull them on in. There we go. And then we can drive away with them, pull them over to the, uh, the logging mill, lift that blade up, and drag them to the logging mill. You don't need to be so sloppy as I am with these. Um, I just happen to be sloppy because I'm just doing a tutorial. And we can just drag them where we need them. You can actually attach up to four logs um, onto that tractor. So that set up right there. Um, the tractor is 39,500 like the other. The winch is 7,500 and then 1,000 for the chainsaw. This one is only 4,000 more and it is $48,000 for this setup. Now, as you progress further, you may be saying, hey, what can I do that'll make my life a little bit easier rather than winches and stuff? You might be looking for a setup like this where you can stack many logs, stay out here for a good portion of time, stack many logs into the tractor and um, pull them along. So this is a pretty simple setup. Um, you've got the tractor. Again, the same exact tractor, that $39,500 tractor. Um, and then you've got the, uh, let me look it up here. Sorry, under the wrong menu. Forestry equipment. Then you got the Anderson. This is $19,000. So between the two, you have, well, between the two and then, of course, including the, um, the chainsaw itself. Uh, this setup is 59500 total for that setup, including your chainsaw. And you just come over here. You cut your tree. Once again, you cut your tree. Boom. Fell a tree, and then I love felling the trees, it's so cool. And then we just clear all these branches off. And then I don't know, we got a um, how long is this? All right, maybe about So now you can actually get in your tractor. You can pull it right alongside your fell tree. And then we can start loading it up using the arms. These are a little tricky. I have always found them a little tricky, unfortunately. Oh, oh, I, this is no good because I am not good at this at all. Let's turn it. And then uh, it's just good practice. Because I'm not good at it, it's good practice. Go down. Oh, oh, oh. Did not grab it right. Go back up. Go down. Now let's grab it. Now let's lift it up. And bring it. Oh, you're going to have to bring it out and around, I guess. Oh no, what's happening? That works too. Bring it over here. Gonna turn it. Then we're going to down, pull it in, down some more, in. There we go. And then we can just open this up. And then there we go. And we can just rinse and repeat over and over until we have a nice big stack here and come in and once again you want to latch that down so obviously the winches you don't need to latch them down they're already attached to your logs but then you want to uh, latch that down now if you're willing to sell your tractor 
if you don't really care about having it, or maybe you want to put it off to the side. Um, there is a slightly cheaper one, however, it requires you might have to sell your tractor um, as well. But the slightly cheaper option is down here, and that is this guy right here. So this is a great little machine. He is the SM462. In here, he's very puttery. I think he's a two-stroke. I'm not sure, but um, four-stroke. Probably. So, and clearly diesel. If we come in here, let's take a look for where he's located. He's located under the machinery, forestry equipment, and let's scroll on down till we find him. He is in the platinum expansion, obviously, because we're doing the platinum exp expansion for this. So, and he's right there in your forestry equipment. And he is all you need. Um, we did chainsaw, of course. Um, he's 55,000, chainsaws 1,000, so the total package is 56,000. A little less than the ones back there, but it would re re require you selling your tractor. And again, same thing. Cut it down. I think he actually holds slightly longer. So, one, two, three. Oh, he doesn't hold longer. I don't think he holds longer. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's how I count out how long to make them. <laughs> and then you can just pull them alongside. And I am going to show you operating this, this arm. Because guess what? I'm not good at operating arms and I need the practice. So... And in all fairness to me, they're not exactly like how they would really work. So pull slightly forward of it. Oh my gosh, what's going on? I just started sliding up that tree. Wow, that's an interesting glitch. Let's try that again. Let's jump out. Whoa! <laughs> Very interesting. I'm so sorry, I'm getting distracted. That is funny. All right, uh, so let's, um, do we have to unfold it? It doesn't have any unfold command, so I guess we can just get right straight into it. That turns it. That obviously does that. And, um, that turns that piece, which is fine. And then, there we go. And we just gotta bring the arm out, and then we gotta figure out how to drop this thing down on that component, on that piece. I keep calling it a component. Oh, you can tell what industry I'm working with by calling it a component. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Be good to me. Be good to me. Everybody's watching. Come on. Be good to me. You stubborn son of a. Ah. Did I got it. I don't got it. I'm just gonna back up a little. Ah, oh, got it. Great. All right. Now, if I can just get it up. it out. Bring it over. Oh! oh, oh. Alright, that really got messed up. I'm not going to bore you guys any further. Oh, wow. Did it again. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys any further, but you get the picture. And I'm just horrible with those arms, so I'm hoping to get better with this. Now, if this thing's too slow, because I forget, wait, what's the speed? What's the speed? What's the max speed? Max speed on this thing is 12 miles an hour. So if this thing's too slow to get your logs back, you've got this guy. <clears throat> this truck is the TG 26.64. So you need this, again, your chainsaw. Um, 
And if we go to check on where it's located, you go to forestry machinery and you scroll down and there it is right there. So it is 108,000. So with your chainsaw, that's $1,000. It's gonna to come to a total of $181,000. So this is definitely a big jump um, from what we had to here. There's a lot of intermediate steps you could take. Like you could keep the tractors and maybe just upgrade um, the rear trailer. So um, I did not want to show that because I thought that would be redundant. But, you know, you could just upgrade the rear trailer to something a little bit more snazzy that carries a little bit more, slightly longer. So, you know, there's other options as well uh, in between that I'm not showing you because it's just repetitive to show you those things. So, all right. Uh, I just realized that new one is actually cheaper than the one that I was showing you. 19000 and this one is 18000 Interesting. It looks like it's longer too. This might be an option versus the other one. Um, but yeah, explore, play around, see what you feel comfortable with. So once again, jumping this guy, the downside of this puppy is that he can't go too deep in the forest before he gets stuck on stuff. But he does go a lot faster. So he goes 51 miles an hour faster. I had to turn off his uh, thing there. But, uh, yeah. We park him here, and then let's fell a tree. I'll fell this tree. Timber! Alright, nice. And then we come over here, and what's his length? He's got a uh, one, two, three, four, five. About five. One, two, three, four, five. And come back a little because he doesn't have that much room. But let's clear off his branches. All right. And then, of course, you just bring him on over to your lock that you want to load. Yeah, I'm sorry to take a little while to back him up and all that stuff. All right, and then we've got to, do we have to unfold the truck? So we'll unfold it. There it goes. Great. And then we're gonna drop it down. Turn it, pull it up. Oh, 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 I pressed forward. I did not mean to press forward. Pull it up. Actually, I think it might be better if I pick it up slightly midway, midway down it. That's about midway. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, I really messed that one up. Yeah, once again, you get the picture. The arm operates in the same way um, as the other ones, uh, grabbing and pulling. Um, now, once you've got a few more, maybe the next upgrade you want to make Another big step would be to get these machines. So this is an automatic cutter head. Um, the technical term for it is not automatic cutter, cutter head. The technical term for it is um, fell thrasher, I think. They call these fell thrashers. I think fell thrasher is an actual brand, um, but the brand, obviously, uh, all of the, the equipment is 
kind of referred to that brand because that brand is known for being the one to have created it. But same thing. Oh, 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 up, up. Um, oh. So get this arm out of there and jump out. Come over here. Now, one of the things I like about this, I'm actually going to show you a little trick I do, which is switch this over to, I think eight meters is too big. Oh, wait, maybe eight meters is fine. Let's do eight meters. Eight meters. We're going to unfold, turn on the tree harvester, and it ever so slightly. There we go. What's it doing? Is it working? It is working. Good. Oh, it's not going to work out for me too well. So. One of the things I like to do, and it's not doing it for me now, of course, I like to back this right up to it, and then when I do my cut, it goes right into the back of the, the trailer. Now, it's not doing that right now because I did a horrible job aligning it, but and let's just get this out of the way. So that puppy is really cool. You can change your lengths and your cuts, all that. And if we jump into this guy, and I'll show you in a moment. I wonder if I can grab all of these together. I can. I can't. I'm doing a lot better with this machine right now. I don't know how that is, but I am. Down a little. Bring it in a little. Bring it down some more. Bring it in some more. And release. Oh, thank goodness. And then we, once again, we strap it. And then this guy goes, well, he only goes up to 13 miles an hour. But you can go in the forests with this other guy. So you can load right right there. You don't need to drag the trees out. Um, this combination is... Uh, what is this combination? Do I not have this combination in here? All right, so... That's going to save content because I forgot to turn that off. Um, this combination, both are under forestry equipment in here forestry machines so this one is uh 435 and then we've got this guy which is 216 they are the cheapest in their range um for their price and they come to 651,000 so they're not cheap but maybe you'll get lucky and maybe you'll find them a good deal in here like this is a really good deal right here because this is a million dollar machine um i'll show you this machine now because i have this machine out and tab to get to that machine no 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 there we go all right so i don't like that tree branch in the way so i'm just going to turn on super strength and I'm just going to pick the whole tree branch up. Why are you using any of these machines? You have super strength. Well, 
Super super strength is cheating. I only really like to use super strength if like you get stuck or something. Oh, that'll be funny if the train came. Um, I only really like to use super strength if, if I get stuck. Uh, like if a, if this fell over sideways, I might use super strength to turn this up right. So this machine doesn't have as many features as the real life one. So the real life one, so this machine, you can obviously turn. Um, you can pull the arm in, pull the arm out. Um, you can turn the off the head of the arm. Um, the other thing that you can do is I think I have to fold it. So these wheels go in and out. Um, the tracks here. So right now they're out, but they'll come in. Uh, now it does not, and so that function works on this. This the real world machine though here actually the the body tilts the entire body tilts so you can be on the side of a mountain and you can tilt it to line up with the tree going straight that's going straight up and down. It's not going with the angle of the mountain. You can do that. The cab goes up and down in the real one. Now for whatever reason, oh Z fold tree harvester. Let's fold this thing first. Let's fold it up. There we go. All right. So now it's folded, and now there we go. So this goes in and out. We got the 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 wedge on the back. Plow wedge on the back to hold you in position. And your wheels go in and out, which is very cool. And then we're gonna unfold it. Harvester. Yeah, well, it is unfolded. All right, see that? There we go. Swing it around and all kinds of cool stuff. And then let's just align it up to the tree. I love this new feature. I just love it. It was such a pain to uh, do before. And look at the control you have over the tree with this guy. That, look at that control. You'll find that control nowhere else. It's amazing, it's awesome. Um, let's change the cut length to 20 meters. What happens when you change it to 20 meters? And then uh, let's tilt the harvester head. I don't think we can, I guess we can. I gotta pull that arm in a lot more or else we're going down. And uh, I'm trying to remember there's a way to angle it so that you're not when you cut the tree you're not shooting it right at yourself. Um, that'd be weird if they didn't include that as an option. Let's cut. <laughs> and that is why <laughs> you have super straight. <laughs> Oh, brother. Whoops. Um, all right. Let's turn him upright. Oh, if we can get him upright. The tree's still attached. It's kind of hard. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, anyway, I haven't perfected the controls on this. Um, I don't exactly know if all the controls are there or not, but, you know, hey. So... That's that puppy. I'll probably do a, a demo of that later. So those are the options. Um, those are one, two, three, four, five, six types I showed you. And then I showed you this guy, which I totally brutally how to use. Um, but yeah, so 
like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I really could use the likes and the subscriptions. Um, it will help me out with YouTube saying, oh, maybe we should show you to more people, you know? So, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, until next time.